Hey there, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, everyone out there watching right now. Welcome to another food product review with me, John. Today I'm going to be reviewing two types of Oreo cookies that are not available in the United States unless you buy them on eBay and have them shipped over from someone in Japan. Because these are only available in Japan. And they're very interesting. Um, probably two flavors you wouldn't think that uh, would go well with Oreos. Probably something that someone would have to create sloppily on their own and put on a um, terrible YouTube channel where people act cool. And this is Oreo and if you speak Japanese or can read Japanese Tell me what that says, but this is wasabi. You see the little green swirls there, kind of like you get with your sushi. This is Oreo wasabi, and then we have this one. Again, here is the Japanese words there. And I don't know if you can tell there, but those are supposed to be spicy pieces of chicken because this is buffalo chicken Oreo. On the back for both of these, it does tell you that you're supposed to twist them open and dunk them in milk, which is why I have this glass of milk. Now, they're both, uh, they advertise each other. So like on the box of one, you'll see that they're advertising the other one. They also sent out some other interesting flavors, but most of them were relatively normal. You know, things like strawberry or hazelnut or other fruity flavors that you would expect to be on a sweet cookie. These not so much. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go with the wasabi one first. We open it up and oh it comes in two two separate packs. So I can open one and one will stay fresh. But the next time I want some fresh wasabi Oreos. Close that up and save for later. Alright, now let's open up this smaller pack. I'm trying to be gentle as to not break or crush any of the cookies inside. Oh, you know what? There's like a little tab there. A rip tab. Make it easier for me. So I'll rip it open. And inside we have one, two, three, four, five wasabi Oreo cookies. So, let's, first of all, let's take one out and look at it. It looks like a regular Oreo. It says Oreo. It has all the interesting decor on the outside. It smells just like a chocolate Oreo. First try, I'm just going to try it dry without twisting it open. Interesting. <clears throat> wow. The wasabi kick in there was more than I was expecting. For the second one, I'm going to twist it. see this side has just a little speck this side has all the wasabi goodness even like directly smelling that it doesn't have any smells coming out of it okay now let it put it in some milk maybe the milk will make it a little more subtle and palatable
Hmm. So the wasabi is slightly salty, but then really pungent. You know, like that nasally horseradish wasabi burning it. It's not as intense as having straight wasabi, but definitely there's no mistaking what you're putting into your mouth when you eat this. Not something that you would just pull off the shelf and say, I'm going to have this to snack on. Uh, definitely one of those interesting, nostalgic, not nostalgic, uh, I can't think of the word. It's probably another word that begins with an in, I'll just say interesting for now. Interesting uh, flavors that you'd ever try. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't go out tr looking for this unless you were just like interested in like experiencing something weird. Next up, I'm gonna try the the uh, buffalo chicken. Just needs to get some milk in there to get that wasabi that's out of there. Again, you get two packs inside the box. And there you go, the buffalo chicken Oreo flavor. The rip tab didn't go all the way that for that one. But we'll get it open up just enough to pull two cookies out of. Again, the outer Oreo is the same. And just like that one, the cookie part of it is just a regular chocolate cookie. All the interesting flavors in the middle. So I'm going to try one straight up dry. Here we go. This one almost has a cheesy flavor to it. I don't know if that's on purpose, but you know, like the uh, the Ritz sandwich crackers that have the cheese spread in the middle. It kind of reminds me of what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and twist this one open. That one wasn't as clean. See, there's still it's not too thick, but a lot of the flavor got on there. But the majority I've got on this one. All right, nugget and some milk. Very interesting. Whereas the wasabi one, there was no mistaking what you were eating was a wasabi flavored cookie. This one is a little bit more ambiguous. It does have some spicy kick to it. And like the chicken flavor kind of reminds me of if you've ever had the, the, the cracker chicken in a biscuit from Nabisco. I think they probably use a similar or the same chicken flavor for this one. There's also a pepperiness to there. It's actually not as spicy as the wasabi one, and I know horseradish and pepper spice kind of hit you differently, but the wasabi one is definitely more of an intense spice of its own nature than the pepper from the buffalo wing one. Definitely get more of the chicken aspect of the flavor in this one. With just some 
subtle spiciness to it. You're not going to miss the spice. You're definitely going to notice that it's there. It's just not as intense. And like it could, it kind of tastes like it has a little bit of cheesiness to it. Um, I don't know. I can't read any of the ingredients list because it's all in Japanese. So if you uh, can speak Japanese, read Japanese, go ahead and pause that and see if you can tell me if there's a milk product at all in there. I do think these ones are more palatable. Uh, it's more of a, it's definitely more of a savory snack. Uh, the chocolate part in this definitely gets covered up more. Um, the chicken is the the most intense flavor in this is the chicken. Whereas the wasabi one, you actually get more chocolate straight up, and then as you chew it and the the middle cream gets mixed in your mouth, it really hits you with wasabi as a second flavor. And then those wasabi kind of takes over. This one I taste chicken almost all the way through and the chocolate uh, gets kind of covered up. Um, if you were to choose one or the other, I think this one's probably more enjoyable. Neither one of them is as much of a dessert to me. Um, they're both more savory or just really interesting flavors to try out. But uh, I don't know what you think. If you've ever had these, the wasabi and buffalo chicken Oreos, very interesting. Uh, glad I was able to find these and try them out. Super, super interesting kind of things. Um, hopefully, Oreo comes out with more like weird, intense flavors um, from wherever around the country. As long as I can get my hands on them, somehow I'll try them out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video of these interesting Japanese Oreos flavors. Until next time, goodbye.